Hi there, this is Isabel from Autism Untouched. I've actually, I'm busy doing the dishes and cleaning the kitchen and I was thinking I really, really want to talk to you guys about this, about how we see autism and whether, whether we see it as a different ability or a disability. Let me tell you, the most successful person, well, individuals, autistic individu individuals, I would say the person that I have admired and, and watched videos about is, is Temple Grandin. But I listened to, to what she said about how she had a speech delay, but how her mother let her participate in all activities, social activities, whatever there was to do, her mother allowed her to participate. Her mother didn't make excuses for her. I'm sure she had days where, where she cried and thinking, am I doing the right thing for my child? But yes, autism is in the medical circles, in the, in scientifically, it's not recognized as a disability. It's a social neuro brain, brain um, difference between neurotypical and autistic brain. It's a, I don't know how to put it in medical terms. I know the, the Afrikaans words of my home language, but that's, that's not the point. No, autism is not a disability. It is a different ability. You, I think if we can open our minds to seeing our children as capable, as willing, as, as skilled, as intelligent, if we can change the mindset from that and not act different around other people, neurotypical people, than what we act in front of our family, then you'll be surprised how other people start looking at our kids. We have to not to f uh, mold our kids into someone they're not. They each have their own character, but we need to work with them and do things with them in the public eye and in front of teachers, in front of anybody, family, friends, wherever you go, we need to treat our kids like they are, we need to presume that they understand everything and that they are capable of handling any situation. I have to constantly uh, reprimand or Constantly, I have to give myself a, a talking to and tell myself, stop treating Matthew like he is a baby because he's not. I've seen over and over again, and that's, that's what is the beauty of my channel. I can talk to you guys about my insecurities of how I raise my autistic child. I can talk to you guys about things that I do that I'm not sure if it's the right route to take. But the point is we can be open and honest with each other. And I want to challenge you. Let's not see our autistic kids as having a disability anymore. Let's see them as having a different ability. Maybe different from, from other kids. Maybe they see things different. I need my coffee in the morning. Maybe they do things different, but not as disabled. But we must start seeing them as able. Able to do everything a normal child can do. We have to open our minds to the reality that our kids are normal. That they can do. We, we can't afford to listen to the naysayers. We can't afford to read and Google what the scientists say about our individual kids because the point is only we know our kids we can't afford to to see them as disabled 
I'm challenging you in this video today is start allowing your child to do things even if it makes you uncomfortable even if you're unsure of course with safe boundaries but start getting out of your comfort zone I know it's hard I know um, like I said to you I wasn't always this outgoing with Matthew I wasn't always this outspoken because I for many years I allowed other people to dictate to me how I must see Matthew and dictate to me how much progress he's supposed to make I would go to an IEP meeting and they would tell me this is the goals we have for Matthew for the next six months nothing wrong with their goals but I realized that I don't have to have the same goals we can work together but I can believe for better and greater things for my child and so should you it is because we've allowed people's opinion to form to de define our kids that we see them the way they do that the society see them the way they do they are extremely smart any doctor would tell you you get doctors and specialists on the spectrum you get people in various careers on the spectrum it all comes down to having had somebody that believed in them you and I can be that person that believe in our child it does not matter if nobody else believes in them it is irrelevant but we have to start seeing our kids having the same potential as a neurotypical child because I can see with Matthew he's showing me daily the things that I want to do with him I'm telling you this because I trust you and you can tell me about what what you do and we can give each other advice I still try and do things for him that he can do for himself and he's starting to show me hang on let me do this by myself I'm not disabled I'm autistic but I'm able to do so much more than what you give me credit for and this is what I want to say to you guys let's start stepping out in faith stepping out and do new things with our autistic kids do more than what the doctors and the teachers and the specialists and therapists said let's let's not disrespect the diagnosis or prognosis but let that not define our kids let let's start giving our kids the opportunity to show us and to show the outside world that autism is not a disability autism has various traits on the spectrum they differ some kids are verbal some kids are non-verbal it doesn't mean because someone looks like they are autistic most autistic kids don't look autistic but sound different that um, because they sound different from normal kids that they are not capable of the same success as a normal kid does or a normal adult or child even if you are autistic adult watching this I know the internal struggles you have because I've spoken to my older son to be able to express yourself to be able to follow a career path without feeling anxious without being worried about what people will think are people looking at me because a lot of people on the spectrum they have got issues with anxiety not because they are unstable mentally or emotionally because of the outlook people have on autistic kids you need to know that know this that you must start acting like you are in control even if you feel unsure inside sometimes this is me speaking to autistic adults and teenagers don't feel that you don't have the right and the same opportunities as neurotypical people don't feel that you are worth less and your opinion is worth less than neurotypical people the more you relax 
about autism, the more you open your heart and your mind to progress, to new ideas, to advanced technology, the more you do this, even as an autistic parent, the better and the lighter this will feel. There will be a weight lifted off you because you know what happens when you read on, on, you watch YouTube videos, some people upload only negative videos about autistic kids, you read blogs about people having endless problems, there never seems to be a time in their life where things are going good, they have to always refer back to the horrible times. You know what, I understand and believe me from, from a mother's heart that I had my autistic son that was going through traumatic school years at a stage. I know how that feels, but you cannot stand still there. You have to believe for a better tomorrow for your child. You have to believe that your child is able and willing and intelligent enough to be successful in this life. You cannot see your child as a disabled child. You are not going to do them any favors. Please, people, let's start rising up from the words of therapists and doctors and other people that have weighed us down to a point that paralyzes us, not wanting to try anything new, not wanting to go out there and be bold and confident with our autistic kids. Don't let that happen to you. I have let that happen to me long enough. This is why I'm making these videos, because I'm not in denial. I am not telling you it's always going to be easy. I am, am telling you that autistic kids think different from neurotypical kids. That's the only difference there is, difference. They will also learn to read and write. They will also learn to have skills. Some may even do better than neurotypical kids. But it's not a death sentence and it's not a disability. Thank you for listening.